Let's take a look at this I report by Marcus Har Harun and see if it seems, well, kind of familiar. He wants my job. A 16-year-old from Hamden, Connecticut, films news broadcasts in his basement studio, premiering for the first time ever on 360, the best technical team on television. Thanks very much, Dr. Haroon, Marcus Haroon, Marcus, and Mark Haroon. He's from my home state of Connecticut, too. Right up the road a piece in Hamden. If he Good can do it all Marcus. by himself, how, how come we need all these people? Anderson. No, I mean, come on. I love We talk enough about the layoffs. Find out how they were rescued and how they survived. I'm Marcus Haroon, and you are in the Situation Room. Well, Marcus Haroon, who's apparently a really big fan of CNN, had to give a book report on the Lord of the Flies. He decided to talk about Jack, Ralph, and Piggy with this truly terrific takeoff on the Situation Room. We're joined now by Marcus Haroon. Marcus, thank you, Marcus. They reportedly were evacuating from the UK. Yeah, he did a great job. I'm, uh, he had he had me nailed down. He had the whole set nailed down. He's just not old enough to grow your beard yet. <laughs> not yet, but he looks like he's got a future in this business. I just have a few things on my analysis of tonight's election. During our exclusive interview with former ABC World News anchor Charlie Gibson, he opens up about covering what he said was the most important story of his lifetime. The producer in the control room for us said something has just happened at the World Trade Center. There are flames coming out of the side of the building. Let's start and introduce you to Marcus Haroon. He's appeared on CNN US at least eight times and he has more than 25 articles on CNN.com. I talked to Nobel Peace Prize winner Mohammed Yunus about the bank he created to support poor women in Bangladesh. Uh, one of our superstar eye reporters uh, responded to her commentary. Um, his name is Marcus Haroon. He's 16 years old. I talked to Fernando Bermudez. He was thrown into jail for murder. 18 years later, a judge found him innocent of the crime. I'm Marcus Haroon, and I report for CNN. 